Welcome to my studio. So this is part two of the Spaces project. And I've mentioned this before that it, this project was done over a very long period of time. I usually gave it 24 hours um, of drawing time between each session that I worked on it um, because there's so many layers. This, there was probably over 10 hours of footage that I had to sort through and speed up and cut out and um, so it was uh, very extensive. But what I'm doing right now is I've gone in to this decoupage uh, with the tea, um, used tea bags portion with Light and Fluffy by TCW, the modeling paste. And now I am, while that dries, I'm going in with some tea bags that I'm decoupaging over the top of the bottom portion. And these I'm just putting in very randomly. And these were used tea bags, so I would use them and then uh, dry them and then cut them open, dump the tea out. They're really a fun resource. They're beautifully colored. They have wonderful texture. They're translucent. All right, and what I failed to show here is I'm going in with these colors, but I am mixing in with them some um, glazing medium. So you'll see me placing, putting down the color and then lifting it with baby wipes so that I can monitor the translucency. Um, the, that glazing medium also extends out the dry time on it and I'm in Arizona so everything dries faster you'll see I go in pretty quickly even for glazing I go in pretty quickly afterwards I'd rather get it the translucency that I want than have to worry about having to go back in to get the color I want so like I said this project was lots and lots and lots of layers so this is just the first layer of color for this side of it. And 
and that's a good 24 hours of drying and now basically I'm going in with these colors and the glazing medium again And I seem to get myself coated anytime I use glazing medium. I just get myself so coated and it's super sticky. It doesn't want to come off yet. So now I'm going in with a palette knife and that titanium white and just trying to create some peaks and a, a nice texture along that foam line, the water line there. And this is some glossy gel medium and extra thick or extra heavy glossy gel medium. I don't use, I bought it just for this project because I don't use glossy usually. And um, I'm using this as its own layer, trying to get some of the shine and depth going in that water part of this element. using a palette knife so that I can get um, some texture and unevenness to it. Again, trying to create that depth. And now I'm going to add that gel medium to the titanium white and use that in my waterline so I get the glossy of the water but don't lose that opaqueness. And another opportunity to just get some more texture going in there. And really only times I used my dry my heat tool was to get it surfacely dry so I can go in with the next layer and um, but then I would usually let it sit for 24 hours in between 
So here I'm doing the same thing I did with the white but with the blue, just getting another layer of depth and still keeping the glossy. And along the water, the foamy edge there, the lighter color, I'm going in with my finger and then I'm pulling out with a baby wipe so that I can get it really uneven um, and maintaining that texture. And now I'm going in with a, a second layer of just the glossy gel medium. And really, this really finishes it off. I let this dry for 24 hours, um, and that was a wrap on this piece. I hope you've enjoyed the video, um, even if it was long in two parts and kind of choppy, I apologize. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more content from me, uh, you could subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can head over to Patreon and see what I'm doing over there. All content over at Patreon is different. Um, but I highly suggest you go over and check that out for yourself. Here is the link. And if you click on the bell, when I have a new YouTube video go up, you will be notified. Thank you so much for stopping by.